Three months listening to every second of testimony given the boot by the judge. The decision made after defense attorneys asked for a mistrial. Corey Rangel following all of today's twists and turns. And Corey, a lot of anticipation over what this judge would decide here. Steve, the judge spent more than an hour meeting with attorneys as well as Jody Arias and Travis Alexander's two sisters all at the same time. That led to a lot of speculation. But when everyone returned to court, the judge announced she denied the motion for a mistrial, but let everyone know she dismissed juror five from the jury. The defense claims juror five made statements in front of other jurors implying she could not be fair or impartial. Now we do not know what she said because that information has been sealed by the court. But after she was dismissed this morning, I talked with someone who saw the juror. I'm told it was obvious she was upset and had been crying. Now afterwards, Travis Alexander's family was visibly upset. And before the lunch break, the judge told the remaining jurors they would be escorted by security. I'm going to ask that you be especially careful about avoiding contact with anyone, having any media contact, allowing anyone to speak with you today during the noon recess. I'm going to ask security to escort you out a different door for purposes of the lunch hour and that you convene in a different location. We'll tell you where that will be. Now, we've learned this is not the first complaint against this same juror. ABC 15 obtained this paperwork that shows someone called the judge's office and left a voicemail complaining that uh, television reports indicated that this juror was attempting to coach Arias from the jury box. Now, it's not clear if the judge took any action or just made note of this, but it is an official court document. But to be clear, Steve, this had nothing to do with the judge dismissing the juror today, but it's noteworthy because it involves the same juror. Yeah, and certainly raises some questions about what's going on in jurors' minds as well. Thanks so much, Corey.